Welcome to Cape Breton Movers and Shakers, where we have conversations with people who are doing positive things here in Cape Breton. I'm Richard Lorway, president of GoCapeBreton.com. Today, I'm speaking with David Anderson and Skylar McDonald, the creators behind Davy and Sky Media in Waikagma, Nova Scotia. Welcome, guys. Hi, thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. So, so tell me about Davy and Sky Media. How did you guys meet and get started? Uh, <laughs> it was a few years ago now, um, seven We've been together, yeah, since 2015. So like when we met, um, that was something that we bonded over was adventuring and taking photos. We lived in Halifax. Um, so David lived in Dartmouth. I lived in Halifax, just met through friends. Um, we lived in Halifax for a year together. And then we lived in Scotland for a year together. And just kind of always never working with in this industry of photo video, it was always just a hobby. Um, so then we moved back to Cape Breton in 2017. Uh, we were supposed to only be here for the summer. We, my family owned a small bakery, um, Helen's Bakery here in Waikagama. So we were basically, we were like, yeah, we'll work for the summer. Um, but then the summer ended and we did not want to leave. We, that classic tale of falling in love with where you're from. So I'm from Waikagama, um, and David wasn't, but he came to love it as much as me and we stayed um, working in the bakery. We lived in Jiddick for a while. And then fast forward, we basically just kept exploring and documenting our travels while we worked full-time bakers. So it's kind of hilarious. We'd be up at three, 4 a.m., bake until around one or two, go home, shower right quick, and then we'd be off to catch sunset somewhere or we'd be off doing something on our days off. Um, it was always a passion project um, is where all of this started. Um, then- That's kind of it, yeah. I yeah. just like started hiking a lot around Cape Breton and posting photos and that just got kind of some attention. Got some, one big job in Halifax where we <laughs> went to a concert and that kind of paid for new cameras and gear. And that really like, that was the one job that um, like put us in the spot today, like we, it was a, an Ashanti concert. <laughs> <laughs> Super random. So like back, back up a little bit too. It was probably, we were living here for about a year, 2017, 2018. I think it was 2018. Um, when you, I think you've had Lee Frazier from Live Life Intense as a Right, guest. yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, so he kind of put together this creatives weekend with Destination Cape Breton. And we had no following. We had separate accounts. We had like, a hundred of our closest friends and family following us on Instagram, like Davy and Sky was not, it was always a nickname. We always like hashtagged ourselves Davy and Sky, but right. it was never, yeah. never yeah. dreamed it would be anything bigger than that. Um, so we went to this creatives weekend. We, it was hilarious. I phoned up Lee and I'm like, Hey, we work at a bakery. Like we'd love to come. We can bring oat cakes. And he was like, okay. So we brought oat cakes. We brought a cake. So I, I, I kind of like to say like our story started a little bit off with some oat cakes, some classic Cape Breton oat cakes. And we went to this event and after living here on the island for a year, we never, I had friends I went to high school with, but they weren't into like hiking or like photography or anything. So this event was kind of like just fire in our bellies with realizing there are young people on this island that love the outdoors, that love documenting what they do. Um, so it was super inspirational to us. And we met some big names like um, Ashley McDonald and Chuck Rathall, who we're now so fortunate to consider friends. Um, but back then it was like, oh my gosh, I was starstruck talking to Ashley. I was like, hi, like we love following you. We do like follow everything you guys do. And um, yeah, we realized that they're like regular people and that you kind of just have to, you can can take your passions into something bigger than that. Um, so that really inspired us to keep at it. Um, about a year later after that, we like throughout that year, we got involved with Destination Cape Breton. They had a community of interest project uh, focusing on hiking. So we kind of got involved with that too. And we just kept posting and then we combined our accounts into Davy and Sky. And we did, again, still working full time at the bakery up until COVID hit, um, during COVID. <laughs> uh, we 
we're going to jump out of the bakery anyways and start doing like wedding videography and try to try to make it on our own as a business. Um, but then we that prematurely kind of all got thrown into chaos with right. uh, yeah. with the pandemic as everybody. So any plan we had was like we at first we were like, oh, it'll be fine. Summer will roll around. Everything will get back to normal. And then summer rolled around and we were like, it's not back to normal. So we kind of ended up making some good connections with tourism and we found our niche with like adventure content um, and tourism based content. So yeah, sorry, very long with it. <laughs> I so, talk a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> Jay, I wonder who the communicator is. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, as I watch these videos, I, I get a sense that you both love the natural world and you have a sense of adventure, but I also feel like your relationship is part of the appeal. Is, is that intentional? This, this, this just is what it is. <laughs> What's on video is what it is normally anyway. Like it's not. But it is part of the appeal. I mean, it's kind of like adventure, yeah, tourism, a bit of romance. I think, yeah, like as we're growing our brand, which is continuously mind boggling to us that we have like a brand, um, we're realizing that as we grow outside of featuring places locally, it's going to be more about us experiencing other places so it kind yeah. of there was a switch where it wasn't about the hike it was about us on the hike um something that we did when we traveled through europe and stuff was we would always use youtube and youtube vloggers to kind of plan trips uh just because you get a really like in-person sense of what something can be like it's not it is always a highlight reel like a lot of people we do it too like we show like the best things that we can um but with vlogging it's definitely different where you're seeing it through that person's eyes you're seeing the ups and the downs um so that definitely is something we do as we play off each other with that <laughs> I, I think that's fair sure because you know people identify with with you and they can see how you experience it therefore they have they can understand you know yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about your dogs a bit too, because they seem to be part of the story. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about them? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there's Indy, who's a red and white border collie. Uh, she's four now. And we have we just got a new dog two years ago. Or no, one year ago. A year. Yeah. Over uh, a year and a half. Toby is her name. Uh, she's just getting over car sickness. So we didn't know that when we got her. She's oh. like a GD dog. Uh, she didn't she didn't travel well um drool everywhere she'd be soaking wet when we got places and quite a mess but she's uh she's getting better she can sit in the front seat by herself now and yeah so she's a we thought she was going to be a golden retriever but she's kind of like a duck taller mix. we're not sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> we basically we got her off of kijiju we applied to a bunch of rescues and stuff but then there was multiple families that said she was too high energy and we were like perfect yeah <laughs> we have a high energy dog we do a lot of high energy things and she's kind of fit right into our family so yeah they go we try to take them everywhere with us excellent so it looks like an like a, the perfect life for a dog if i was a dog that's what i'd want to do like interesting smells interesting places yeah, yeah. they definitely get a lot of interesting places <laughs> um so growing up here in Cape Breton, you know, and, and I did, uh, obviously, uh, you know, part of the narrative was always there's nothing to do, you know, if, if you're a young person. And but clearly you guys have found lots to do. So is, is sort of changing that narrative, is that part of your mission also? Definitely, yeah. Like that was kind of our own realization, actually, when we moved back here was, oh, my gosh, like I live, I live like 10, 15 minutes away from Egypt Falls. I grew up like 50, 10, 15 minutes away and I never went, like I never knew it existed. So it was just definitely like rediscovering those things so close to home and then expanding on that. And we still have lists of things that we want to do and see right here. Um, it's, it's tough. Like, I mean, I grew up with like my family owned a small bakery and they would work all day, every day. Um, so I think that that is why I never really saw a lot was because we were very like a work, hardworking family and there's a lot of hardworking families 
um, on Cape Breton that it's hard to find that time. But once I think people start to see that 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 there is so much that there'll be more like inspiration to go exploring, um, which is really good. But excellent. So so now that you've um, you've developed a following in a brand and and all of that, you're offering services to to organizations and other. So who, what kinds of services do you offer? Um, we're basically we're mainly photo and video based. Um, we also offer like a range of social media services too. Um, so that's both with like through our brand. So we use our platforms on Facebook and YouTube um, and Instagram to, and hopefully TikTok. We're trying to grow our TikTok. Uh, we're trying to use our brand to feature places. Um, but then also we've done a lot of different contracts where we go to a business or a location and we take photos and videos. And sometimes that's like, it's just that, like it's a photo and video hire. Um, we've done some social media workshops too, a bit of social media management. It's all kind of self-taught and we're just rolling with it. Um, it's continuously changing every day, trends and everything in the digital world is changing every day. So we're just rolling with it and trying to learn as much as we can. So I, I see you going down the South shore and the Eastern shore and places like that and, uh, and PEI as well. So are, are you, you're obviously expanding your, your area outside of Cape Breton. Um, are you are you approached by those organizations, you know, tourism organizations, to do that, or is that just you expanding your your area that you want to explore? Oh well, yeah, we were approached by everybody. Um, we're kind of thinking about it this year. It's like we're trying to. Last year was just crazy. We had a lot of the, we we were like nonstop. We were never home. <laughs> uh, we went to PEI, I think, six times. Six five or six times yeah. wow uh yeah like we want we do want to branch out more and and try to explore new like different places okay and i also saw you, you were in the u.s you were in utah and or is that that was a personal thing or yeah but, yeah that was, that was a personal, personal. Yeah. yeah right before we got into you well we we moved back um we moved back in 2017. I think it was 2018. We went to Utah and Arizona. And it was two weeks of just like a hike every day. And we rented a vehicle. And I mean, we vlogged that for YouTube. But looking back, videos are all of, we grow so quickly that like we look back at videos from a year ago and we're like cringing at yes. what we did sometimes. <laughs> um but yeah no we did that trip it was all totally personal um again we worked at the bakery so we just we had two weeks vacation and we went hiking and exploring around there did a bunch of different things like the grand canyon yeah, yeah that the grand canyon is amazing i i would encourage anybody who to go there at least once in their life yeah we yeah. left with more things on our list i think than we did going in and we would always love to go back and same we just went to Scotland as well um, where David's actually originally from um, so we were visiting family there and it was a very family focused trip but we tried to fit in a bunch of adventures too. Okay so so you know five ten years down the road where do you see Davey and Sky Media going? Where do you want this ride to go? We have no idea. <laughs> no clue yeah we, we have dreams. Good answer. <laughs> we rolling with the last two years we've just kind of come to terms with we're in a position of our life that it's okay to not have a big plan um nothing's been predictable i mean we may have made a really good relationship with working with um tourism based projects uh but that opportunity might not have ever come if covid didn't limit them to sourcing with local creators um, so we're kind of just in a position where we're happy to go with the flow of what comes at us. Stay, we're always going to live in Cape Breton. We've decided we're always, this is home now, um, for good. And this will always be our base. We'd love to expand and work with other destinations and across Canada and maybe even the world someday. Um, but this will always be home. So you'll always still see us exploring here too. Excellent. Excellent. Well, listen, guys, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I've been speaking with David Anderson and Skylar McDonald, creators of Davy and Sky Media in Wicogma, Nova Scotia. And we'll see you next time on Cape Breton Movers and Shakers.